In a world full of MX simulator tracks with god-awful environments, where it takes Donut MX like three fucking years to create a track, comes the next installment in the infamous race series, Steaming Balls, Round 2, where there's numerous great riders and even better, track objects. One man had the courage to sit through all of the criticism and take into account all of the feedback for the DTF beta, where not even one person told me how awful the tile info was. Seriously though, dude, how could no one have told me how bad that tile was? That shit was unrideable, and that is definitely the last time I ever release a beta. But, anyways. <clears throat> In a world, one man searches through comments. And literally, like only three people leave constructive criticism out of the thousands that download it. And- Oh! Oh shit, dude! That comment's actually about the track, dude! He's actually telling me to do something with the beta! Josh Schneider, I will add all of the trees and houses that your little heart desires, man. Josh Schneider is coming in so clutch, I could go off on a tangent with this one. In a world... Uh, a, another world where nobody leaves constructive criticism on the DTF beta except for Josh Snyder. One man, also known as the Schneid Dog, saves a track from its doom. One MX simulator track gets the treatment it truly deserves. After adding a few trees and a house, it's finally ready for release. So before I dive into the highly anticipated hot lap of DTF, let's jump into a new race so we can check a few things out. Right off the start, you got some hot bitch chilling at gate number one. That's right, boys. That is my gate. That is Ryan Dungey's wife. Since he retired, she's like, well, I got to go on to the next best thing, and that is definitely Donut MX. He's got like 6,000 subs. He's practically famous. Boom! Little Bill trailer. A little late to the party, but... Now we got the Scooty trailer, dude. We are just repping all the homeboys here at DTF. But you really can't beat that little build trailer. Shout out to Thailand. Oh, the milk bag trailer, boys. Repping ya boy, Snake. And then, of course, the shitty ass Donut MX trailer. Who cares? But wait, there's more. If we just boot scoot boogie on over here, we can check out the custom banners. Boom, DTF with a beautiful donut to boot. And I cannot mention all of this hardcore, badass custom shit without shouting out ya boy, Barkus Measley. He put in the man hours and made this track look fucking dope. And now that the hot lap has begun, I can go off on my own little history of DTF tangent. So I was working on the track for a while, you know, I'm almost done. I send it to all the homies, I tell them, you know, Nobody put in any criticism for the beta. What do y'all think? And just as I predicted, everybody is too nice about it. They tell me to release it. It's ready to go. Except for the environment, as always. Donut, your environment is as bad as ever, even worse than your last track. Sandy, or Sanday, however the hell you say it. And I say, boys, I don't care. Historically, you know I don't give a shit about my environment. I'm just gonna release it as is. It's all about that fun factor, baby. And then my man Marcus pulls me aside, tells me he'll work on the environment a little bit. Just add the bare minimum, give you something to look at. So he sends me his version, custom trailers and all. And I'm like, nah, just throw down the bare minimum. You went all out, my man. And at that point, I realized, wow, the environment really ties the whole room together. Or, er, uh, 
the whole track together. My bad. I'm, I'm channeling my inner Lebowski right now. This rug I have, it really tied the room together. And since one of my tracks finally looked legit for the first time, I just wanted to keep on adding more features. So I would work on the environment some more and then send it back to him. He would work on it. You get the picture. And then before you know it, we got the custom banners and all. I've added a freestyle track, a, I guess we'll call it a terrain deformation track, and a fifth gear wide open straight rhythm, which I'll show you guys after this hot lap, and some, uh, some hidden transfers I threw in there as well. So I really have to give a big thank you and shout out to my man Marcus. This track wouldn't be... I don't know, half of what it is now without his initial work on the environment because I am just so damn lazy when it comes to working on the environment. I find it so boring and all I really care about is the track. But once he got it started, shit, it, it just really tied the room together. Yeah, man, it really tied the room together. And while I'm on the topic of giving some shout outs, I gotta give one to my boy JGMX, a very well-known track creator who's been pumping out some magic lately in the community. While JG Wentworth didn't personally work on the track, I did completely rip his skybox and his tile info, better known as the, the traction of the dirt, from his St. Jude's Round 1 track. It was like Huntington Park or something like that. The dude's honestly got the best tile info out there, man. I threw it on my track and it just rode a thousand times better. And I guess while we're on the topic of shouting everyone out who helped culminate this piece of shit. I gotta shout out DJD, the OG, because I used some extremely old object pack. I think the tough blocks are a part of, and that's probably it, but shout out to him. And if your object is in here and I haven't mentioned you, then I'm sorry you can blame Marcus for bringing that in, because I don't know about it. So a fellow hoo-ha schmooty boo, those objects really tie the track together. If you know what I mean. That rug really tied the room together, did it not? Fucking A. Alright, I know, it's not funny anymore. I really wish I could have sent this inside hip jump into the whoop section. The massive transfer, but I decided not to because I was running a pretty decent lap with my, uh, my time trial competitor here. And it took me like, f I don't know, three fucking hours to get this time trial recording. So I decided to play it safe. And another thing that I really took away from this race with myself was that there's a lot of lines that, that even out that are competitive race lines. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that I really put in that effort, made multiple race lines everywhere that are consistently the same speed. It was not on accident, guys. Those even multi-race lines are not on accident. I repeat, not completely on accident from a guy making his second track ever. So let's shoo blagoo over this dragon's back and into my favorite part of the entire track that I'm most proud of, a sick turn with three lines. And if you have enough speed, you can triple over this jump or you can wheel tap the top to get over that third rutted hump. And then, hey -oh, we got the first backflip attempt. It actually turns out to be a success. Now that we got the main track out of the way, I guess the second thing we should check out is, uh, Let's go with the terrain deformation track that was made with initially just a few really small berms and whoops and such and then really shaped up with the erode feature which in case you don't know is like terrain deformation from MX First ATV Reflex. So it's super technical, super gnar, rutted up, whooped out and I really wanted to make a full length track using this feature but I felt like I had already put so much time into the main track, it wasn't really worth it. Uh, to be honest, when I thought of this, I kind of felt like I had that that brain blast from Jimmy Neutron. Come on, think, think, think. Brain blast! Now you may be asking to yourself, what in the hell is this goofy ass berm? Well, I can assure you, Shaniqua, it is the landing of a transfer. Boom! Backflip on the first attempt again. I don't know how the hell I've done that. It is a record. That will go down in the history books, but let's check out this transfer that I have yet to hit on my own. So you're getting a little bored of the FMX track. Let's just fucking send it. But we're not gonna make it, fellas. I still haven't made it. Maybe someone can make a dope ass video of them hitting it. I don't know. It's also a little hard to line up. I think I'm going to take this time to edit some decals to point you in the right direction. 
Hell yeah. Not only am I bringing you a custom track, but a beginner editing track tutorial V V1. That's right, fellas. Free of charge, straight to your computer screens. Let's see how she goes now. Well, at least I lined it up right. All right, transfer number two, Dad. Will he huck it? Can Donut make it? Yeah, I haven't been able to clear that one yet either. All right, so we're gonna have to move on to transfer number three, since Spodes like me won't be able to jump transfer one or two. So let's say you get tired of the FMX course once again because it's a piece of shit and uh, make a move on the goon friendly transfer. Let's check it out. The fuck dog, I landed on the downside. Well, I guess it's good I beta tested right before release. Let me uh, steepen up this landing. Wow, donut, some more editing, dude. Oh my god, if I didn't know any better, I would say this is a uh, another beginner track editorial tutorial. Don't feel like editing in a bunch of separate text documents because it's like fucking 5 a.m. I just want to finish this video. You're gonna download it anyway. Fuck you. Tutorial! Yeah, whatever. Let's just huck it. Ho-ho! Gucci down! Call me Big Papa! Or whatever those, those crack dealers say in the rap songs. Gucci alert up in here. Now let's finally check out that fifth gear tapped section. Hidden among the brush, we have the LaRocco's Leap Straight Rhythm. It's pretty boring and pointless, but I know how bored we all get when we're waiting around in a race lobby for people to restart the damn race. And as an added bonus, all of the landings have steep ass whip jumps on the opposite side of them. So you can really just whip it and throw some style whenever and wherever you want. Also, this ugly ass hill has decals planted onto it, letting you know what bike to run and what gearing to run, which is from my setup. Well, my national setup. Uh, negative one zero for the gearing to clear these just right. Fifth pinned, here we go. Now that we're coming to a close, I guess it's the best time to mention the old Donut MX server. Recently purchased and running in full swing. I'll put all the details to connect to the server down in the description I'll be running this track for quite a while. I'm hoping to stream on it. Maybe tomorrow um, If not within the next week, so keep your eyes peeled for my very first stream and in the meantime Hey, come join the server. Let's race some DTF I hope I beat you because I've literally put in hundreds maybe thousands of laps on this piece of shit I'm actually sick of it. I pray that no one joins the server because I do not want to race on it. Good lord. But definitely keep in mind that Little Bill is always watching. My last custom track, Sandy, got a little over 1,000 likes. So let's, let's say if this video gets 2,000 likes, I'll get started on another custom track immediately. And guess what? Y'all lucky bastards got this track one week before I posted it onto the MX Simulator forums. So keep that in mind if you want that, that high quality nar nar in your life ahead of time. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> subscribe. That's what I mean by that. <coughs> and remember guys, if DJ Khaled can be famous, then so can you. So help me become the next DJ Khaled and subscribe. My rug? They pee on your fucking rug? peed on my fucking rug. That's right, dude. They peed on your fucking rug.